All right, chapter nine is called Baloney. Monday, dear first grade journal, room one is still mad about at me about Friday. After we went back to the room, Miss Gutsman brought baloney sandwiches for the children who didn't eat. They were not a hit. I sat at my desk and I ate out of my new lunchbox. I had a tasty peanut butter and jelly sandwich because brought lunch is better than bought lunch. And that is not even my fault. Some of the children watched me eat. They were growly, growly faces at me. Today, Her Herbert is my only friend. Also, Lenny and Jose are being reasonable. I wish Friday never happened. From Junie B. First Grader. I'll show you her journal entry. You can just see her writing. I peeked my eyes at the clock. It was almost 2.50. Just one more hour before I go home. I tried to make the clock go faster with my eyes. It did not actually work that good. Just then, there was a knock on our door. Mr. Scary answered it. Why, hello. Why, hello yourself, a friendly voice said. And guess what? It was Miss Gutsman. She walked in the room with two boxes in her arms. My heart pounded and pounded to see that woman, because what if she came to scold me? I slumped way down in my seat so she couldn't see me. Miss Gutsman set the boxes on Mr. Scary's desk. Then she looked all around the room. I slumped to my seat even further. Only too bad for me, because Blabbermouth May pointed at me. Miss Gutsman, Miss Gutsman, Junie B. Jones is trying to hide from you. She is sliding down her chair so you can't even see her, but I'm keeping track of her movements. After that, I slid all the way to my floor under the desk. Uh-oh, now I gotta get back up. I curled into a ball and hid my head. Pretty soon, I started... I heard feet walking to my desk. I am getting used to that sound. The feet stopped next to my chair. I opened one eye and peeked. I saw her the bottom of Mr. Gutsman's white apron. Junie B, why are you sitting on the floor? I didn't move any muscles. Because maybe she would still go away, probably. Junie B, I brought you something for your class. Don't you want to see what it is? I shook my head real fast. No, thank you. I don't want to see it. And so you can be on your way now, please. I opened my other eye and looked at her feet. They kept on standing there. Then all of a sudden, I heard a loud groan. And what do you know? That woman swatted right, squatted right next to me. I was shocked to see her. Miss Gutsman, what are you doing down here? Miss Gutsman did not look comfortable. Please, Jenny B, I need your help. I brought cookies for your class today, but there's no one up there to help me pass them out. I rolled my eyes way back in my head because that was not even the truth, of course. Yes, there is, Miss Gutsman. There's lots of people up there to help you. Miss Gutsman shook her head. No, no, you don't understand. Look at her teacher got all the way down on the floor to be with her. After that, she reached into her pocket and she pulled out a pair of plastic mitts. I need a real helper, Junie B. I need someone with experience. Miss Gutsman smiled, kind of painful. Please, if we don't stand soon, I'm going to fall right on my keister. That's her tush. And you'll never get me up. I did a teensy smile because that was a, a little joke, I believe. Finally, I crawled out of my desk and I helped Mr. Miss Gutsman stand up. I guess I can help you pass out cookies, but some of these children are still very mad at me, you know. Miss Gutsman held my hand. Yes, well, I think maybe I can fix that. After that, me and her walked to the front of the room together and Miss Gutsman showed everyone the cookies. Sugar cookies. Sugar cookies, shouted the children. 
Thank you, Miss Gutsman. Thank you. Miss Gutsman put her hand on my shoulder. Don't thank me, class. Junie B. Jones is the one who reminded me to pay you a visit this year. She's the one you need to thank. For a second, no one said anything. Then all of a sudden, Herb hollered out, Thank you, Junie B. Jones. And then all the other children hollered out, Thank you, too. I grinned real big because those words felt happy in my ears. After that, I hurried back to my seat. Uh, to the sink and washed my hands. Then I quick put on my mitts and ran back. Miss Gutsman gave me a thumbs up. Ready to go, helper? Ready to go, I said back. And so then both of us passed out all the cookies together. And I did a perfect job. And so here is what I'm thinking. I am thinking that maybe someday I won't be the boss of lunch after all. Maybe someday I will just be the boss of cookies instead. Because... Boss of cookies is the most delicious job I ever heard of. Plus also, I will get to make all the cookie rules. And I have already thought of number one rule. I wrote in my journal, so I won't forget it. Rule number one. The boss of cookies gets to have three, no, four, no, five. Five sugar cookies all to herself. P.S. Only never eat them in front of the children because that would be rude, probably. P.S. again. Plus, sometimes she can even eat six. Ha! The end. So. And then here's her writing. And that is the end of Junie B. Jones. Boss of Lunch.